Hey everyone, History Mystery Man here from Daytona Beach, Florida. How about that for a switch on an absolutely beautiful afternoon. No snow coming down here alongside A1A Boulevard. I'm in front of the historic Streamline Hotel. The Streamline was built in 1940 by Albert Hutchinson. It's the first fireproof hotel in Daytona Beach. It was used as an air raid shelter during World War II, but it's the history beyond that that captures my attention because it was here and over the winter of 1947 and 1948 that Bill France Sr. and his associates, all the race car officials, the race car drivers, the promoters, they huddled up here. They met on the rooftop in the Ebony Club and discussed the idea of sanctioned stock car racing. And over the course of about 69 days that winter, they came out on February 21st, 1948 with a plan. NASCAR, the National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing, was officially born. And the hotel, by the way, is newly renovated. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's loaded up with history, and we're gonna go check it out. First place of NASCAR in the entrance to the Streamline Hotel. I bet they didn't have these automatic doors in 1940, but that's okay, they do now. This lobby of the Streamline is absolutely beautiful, beautiful, newly restored. It's just gorgeous and uh, all part of the experience here. I encourage you to check this place out. The Streamline Hotel is so, so cool. Heading into the elevator, I mean, check this out. Even the elevator is a historical journey in itself, racing on the beach, uh, loaded up with photos. It's absolutely fascinating, interesting. There's Bill France Sr. Uh, and so much more here. And we're not even out of the elevator yet. How cool is this? I mean, this, this was a safe that was actually at one time in the basement, right? Yes, sir. Could you close the door? I want to see the, the other side, because I, we just <laughs> I think had, it's names right on it, right? Yeah, well, we just had this painted on there. Oh, the album you, you can look on the side. You can I faint the Streamline Hotel. Okay, and but this stated. safe was at one time in the basement, yep. and Al Capone stashed his cash in there yeah. when he was playing cards. And this uh, was but the story behind it is Al Capone came here quite a bit with some of his friends, you know, the gangster guys back in the '40s. And when he came, he obviously came with a lot of money, and he set it in there uh, downstairs. That's where he. Every time he came, he wanted his money to be safe, and he'd come and so, up here play cards and poker and. That's all so his money, all his money was on property that he carried around. I wonder if Bill France was in the card club. I have no idea. I don't oh, know uh, about that. I'm thinking probably not. But anyway, the Ebony Club. Talking about that picture earlier of the uh, men who met up there and women who had their meetings in the birth of NASCAR. There's Bill France Sr. heading up the table. And of course, the list of it, attendees, which is also really interesting. There's a lot of interesting things about the Streamline Hotel. If you're not staying here, you should at least come and check it out. How cool. Welcome to the rooftop of what was once part of the Ebony Club here at the Streamline Hotel. This is where, of course, Bill France Sr. and his associates met when they were forming NASCAR. And they often met up here on the rooftop with the backdrop of the Atlantic Ocean in the background. We'll take a lap around this place. But uh, I often think of those meetings that happened here over the winter of 47 and 48 and what would follow going back to the very beginning the Daytona 500 first race 1959 Lee Petty the first winner a three wide finish but remember before they ran on the high banks of Daytona International Speedway they ran on the beach and it all began here in the Streamline Hotel the Petties, the Earnhardts the Allisons the Stewarts the Gordons the Jimmy Johnsons who would follow and all the history of what would grow into what would be one day one of the biggest, largest, still is, spectator sports in the world. Sanctioned stock car racing, NASCAR style, it started right here. Nice shot of, nice shot of Bill France Sr. on the rooftop with all his associates here at the Streamline. That's a classic photo. You may have seen that one before. And it was taken, and let's follow it right out here on the rooftop. It was taken with the ocean as the backdrop right about here. Isn't that cool? I love the old stairwell that takes you up to the rooftop of the Ebony Club here at the Streamline Hotel. 
It's classic, it's original. Hey everyone, just a few closing remarks from the beach. I wanted to thank the France family as the rocket. I don't know if you can see the flame in the background. It'd be way back there, but there is a rocket launch going off uh, right, right now. I think they may be headed to Mars. I didn't get a ticket for that one, but I would have liked to. I wanted to thank the France family for all they've done for NASCAR. You know, when you're really, really super successful, everybody all day long if you hadn't noticed by now wants to take shots at you and uh and i wanted to be the guy that thanked the france family do you know how many people have made a living off of nascar over the years from the vendors to the fans to the to the race drivers to the race teams to corporate america he is really the france family and nascar has really helped fuel uh a, a big portion of the american and economy and they still do. So thanks to Bill France Sr., Bill France Jr., Jim France, Lisa France, Brian, and I know there's extended family well beyond that. But thanks for everything. Can you see the smoke in the background? We're heading to Mars <laughs> from Daytona Beach, Florida. With the History Mystery Man, I'm Don Radebaugh. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much.